You might remember the phrase, axis of evil. The United States of America, claiming other countries were evil, proved itself to be the most evil of all. This is what the war on terror brought us. It brought a legitimised invasion. Under the first one, under the cloak of you know hysteria in the United Nations, then they didn't bother. It was become a coalition of the willing, and the U.S. swooped up at all its allies and vassals and sent them off to war, and then charged them a hundred dollars a litre for petrol to supply. You know, Halliburton charging our army a hundred dollars a litre just to keep the vehicles on the ground, making money at both ends, selling us arms then selling us our supplies to keep the soldiers there. A million dollars per soldier a, day, a year it was costing us. Where was it all going? Whoosh! Halliburton. The US corporations who represent the United States of America. What is this empire? Well, certainly it's an empire of the military. 800 bases in over 220 countries. They've got so many US bases, so many military bases, that no one knows the exact number, right? No one knows the exact number of troops who are serving overseas at any one time. No one in the tax department. No one's auditing this. It doesn't matter that corporations like Lockheed Martin blow out on their budgets. It doesn't matter. They throw them, even though they know they're corp patently corrupt, they throw them more billions. It's not just an empire of the military. It is most insidious and all. It is, as Andy says, an empire of lies. They lie to us. They lie to us big time. That US ambassador brings in all the leaders. They have this regular meeting here. It's called the Australia Leadership Forum. Rudd was part of it. Shorten's a part of it now. We've got to understand what's going on here in this empire of lies. They are teaching, cultivating our leaders to be liars and tell their lies. Shame. 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 This was the great democracy. It ain't that now. It is a purveyor of war. It is a purveyor of torture. It is a purveyor of government corruption. The infiltration is almost complete. They've not only infiltrated the Liberal Party. No one can move in the Liberal Party without, against the US without getting criticism. They have infiltrated the Labour Party, beginning with Hawke, all the Prime Ministers, right throughout the Labour Party. They're working for the US. There is no debate about security. They lockstep in with US policy. And it's not just war policy, unless you see it as a, a drug war, for example, is more vicious lies from the US. What has the drug war done? Created corruption within our police forces. Mick Kilty, the former director, before he left office, said, when I was a young comfortable on the drug war, we used to do these big busts of a couple of kilos and think we were champions stopping the drug war. He said by the time he left, the, the drug interceptions were like 20 ton containers of drugs. He said, we lost the war. Why are we still fighting it? Because the US Embassy demands that we sign up and stay signed up to the drug war. That we create an incarceration industry in this country like they've created in their own. They bring us these evils and claim to be our friends. Wake up, for God's sake. They are the most treacherous of friends. It's like inviting them into your home, welcoming them in, and they steal the furniture. This is what they're doing to us. They betray our trust. They lie to us. They bring us into a murderous cycle of wars and imprisonment no gain for us. So be brave, folks. If the US Embassy is supporting something, know they're telling lies. If they deny the lies, 
to tell them the truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.